In this video, we're going to take a look at the variable pitch module. Now, this will help with any pitch variance or pitch drift. You may have had some problems with some playback or recording where the pitch drifts or the pitch varies. Then you can use this to slow down or speed up the recording to correct that pitch drift. So here you've got your editor. You'll select an area of audio and then it'll show up in this editor view. Then you've got this area here where you can create breakpoints to either speed up or slow down. So if you create a breakpoint and increase it up and create another breakpoint and bring it down here, at this section over here, it's going to speed up. If I bring it down, it's going to slow it down. And also by speeding it up, it's going to increase the pitch and by slowing it down, it's going to decrease the pitch. Normally, like I said, you'd use this on audio where there might be some pitch drift or pitch variance, but I'm just using it on a normal piece of audio just to demonstrate how it works. So you can go in and create as many node points as you want. And this view is obviously showing the time of that selection there. I can right click on a node point to delete it. I can double click on a node point to set it back to its reset value. If I hold down command on the Mac or control on the PC, I've got much finer movements there if I want more finer control of placing those node points. So let's render this out so you can hear what happens. Taking a listen now, module and seeing how many of those S sounds we can, as you see, it increased the pitch and slowed it down. I'm just going to undo that again. Here is the audio again before it got any processing done and seeing how many of those S sounds then I'm going to select this and let's reset the curve. And I'm going to do a pitch drop all the way down till it increases. Render this out. You see that it extended that waveform because it decreased the pitch. How many of those S sounds we can remove? Now I want to show you one more other thing. Now if I create many node points, this looks quite sharp, this curve. I can then use the curve smoothing to smooth out those node points. So there's a smoother pitch variation going on with the audio. The other option you have is to preserve time. So as you heard, when you make some pitch changes, it's actually going to speed up or slow down the audio. If I click preserve time, I've got pitch coherence. So this is going to try to keep the tonality of the pitch when speeding it up or slowing it down. And then transient sensitivity is going to try to preserve those transients when doing the render. So let's do an example of before. So I'll leave the curve maybe like that shape, render it out. This is what we got. Rinsing how many of those S sounds. Rinsing how many of those S sounds. Now, let's use the same with the preserve time. We're going to increase the pitch coherence and the transient sensitivity. Now, that hasn't changed the length. Let's play back and hear what's changed. Rinsing how many of those S sounds. Rinsing how many of those S sounds. And seeing how many of those S sounds. So it's tried to make the pitch sound a bit more natural. It's tried to retain the transient sensitivity and it's preserved the time so it hasn't increased the length. So that's the variable pitch. So like I mentioned, you can use it as an editing tool, but where it really shines is when you want to get some creative effects with your audio. Definitely take a look at these presets to see how crazy you can go. So let's go for this fun bratol here. And render that out. Here we're going to be using the de-essing module and seeing how many of those S sounds. So obviously these presets over here are your corrective ones. But going down the preset list, you get some really crazy results. So for example, let's do pitch wobble. Here we're going to be using the de-essing module and seeing how many of those S sounds. Let's try out something else. So that was pitch wobble. It's this record skip where it's got some very sharp transients making it sound like when a record is skipping when there's a scratch on the record. 
later, we're going to be using the de-essing mode and seeing how many of those S sounds. I'm going to make another selection just so you can hear that a bit more clearly. So as the audio passes at those areas, it's going to sound like it skips. And seeing how many of those S sounds. And seeing how many of those S sounds. Now let's go for one more. Let's make a selection and go for the craziest one of all, wobble down. So many breakpoints editing. It's going to create this sort of wobble down effect. Check it out here. And seeing how many of those S sounds. So completely transforming and manipulating that audio sample. That is the variable pitch. It can either be used as a corrective tool or, as you can see, as a creative tool as well. Catch you in the next module.